In this video, we're going to be checking out some new case technology from Bodyguards, as well as their ceramic glass screen protector for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now this case here has been drop tested up to 18 feet. It's also got cooling gel and air vents to help keep your battery cool, prolonging its life. I haven't seen that on any other case that I've reviewed yet. It also has directional speaker ports for better sound, so we will be testing that out. We're going to see how it fits, how it feels, and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Now we also are going to be testing out their brand new ceramic glass protector. It's got anti-reflective technology, it's easy to install with an anti-dust adhesive, it's smudge resistant, and you also get lifetime replacements. Now you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I will be doing a drop and a scratch test to see how durable the screen protector is. And I promise you by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not these accessories are right for you. So let's get started. So here is the case. It also does come with this lanyard that's attached to the back. You can also take it off if you don't want it on here, but it does seem like a pretty nice strap. It's got a nice hard backing surrounded by a softer, a rubbery type material. On the inside, it's got this really cool feeling kind of, it's cool. <laughs> Uh, it's like a rubber pad, but it, it's supposed to have cooling gel in it, and it actually, it's cool to the touch. That is pretty interesting, and it feels kind of rubbery. And then on the sides of the case, you can see all these vents. And again, that's to either let the hot air out or the cool air in. Seems like a pretty cool case. So let's put our phone inside of the case. Feels nice in the hand. Now this case doesn't have any grip on it, but it does feel like a smooth type of plastic. As far as the buttons, buttons are nice and clicky, very easily pressable. I like that. If we take a look at it from the side, you can see that it does have a slight raised edge on the front of your screen. And I also do not have the tempered glass screen protector on here yet either. It doesn't seem to add a lot of extra bulk to the phone, which is good. We've got those extra reinforcements in the corners of the case for drop protection. Here are our separated volume buttons and our action button. We have our cutout on the bottom here. And the reason why you don't see any other cutouts for the speaker and the mic are because they're directed towards your face. So you can see that it's got the little cutouts facing you for better sound and we'll, we'll test that out in just a minute. If we take a look at the other side you can see it's got our power button and a little a little cutout for our camera button. On the back again it's got that hard plastic back that does have a little bit of a texture to it and we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses. Now this case also does have MagSafe built in so let's test that out. I've got my MagSafe power bank here, clips onto the back and it charges your phone immediately. Now as far as the hold, it does seem to have a pretty good strong magnetic hold on the back, which I absolutely love. Very nice, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off your phone. It's on there pretty good. Then again, we have our little landing here that you can simply adjust by sliding this little piece uh, onto your wrist so you don't have to worry about dropping it. And again, you can also take that off if you don't want this on here. So now let's test out our camera button really quick. So it seems like it's got a little groove for your finger. Let's see how easy it is to access on the side. Very easy to access with the one finger on the side of the phone. Now let's test out the touch. Touch seems to be working just fine. Go to zoom. Yeah, it's got a, a nice groove that fits your finger perfectly. As you can see, there's no issues using the touch gestures either. So that's pretty nice. Now, let's test out how good it records and how the sound sounds with using these directed speaker ports towards your face. So let's do a little recording of my voice. 
So this is a new voice recording using the Bodyguards Paradigm case with the little mic hole kind of angled towards my face. So this is a new voice recording using the Bodyguards Paradigm case with the little mic hole kind of angled towards my face. I think that sounded pretty good. It was sounding just as good as it was when it had just like the cutouts, just like some of the other cases, if not a little bit more directed. Uh, as far as the sound goes, it sounded pretty loud as well, but I'm going to try out some YouTube videos to see what it actually sounds like there. Today we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including Tesla's RoboTaxi event invites, new iOS Tesla features, the Model Y dominating in China, and more. So let's get into it. First up today, one of the biggest perks. So I definitely feel like the audio was more directed towards my face, which is great because you get that stereo sound. So it's not any worse than any other cases. If not, if anything, it's actually a little bit better because again, it's being directed towards your face instead of out towards the side. So this definitely seems like a pretty nice case so far and any advantage that I can get to keep my phone's battery nice and cool is definitely fine by me. So now that we've taken a look at the case, let's install the ceramic glass and we'll test that out and see how it looks. All right, so now we're gonna install the screen protector. So we get one screen protector, an installation tray and some installation wipes and stickers. So the first thing we need to do is to thoroughly clean off the screen of our phone with the alcohol wipe. Then we'll dry it off. Then take your installation tray, making sure that the camera cutout is in this little corner here, and make sure that your phone matches that same corner with the cameras into the hole here. And then take your wipe and then just kind of press the phone down inside the guide, just like that. Then use your dust sticker to pick up any dust. Then we're gonna take our screen protector, making sure that the holes on the screen protector line up with the posts on the guide, making sure that the top portion is going towards the top and the sticker under here is on the bottom. We're going to peel off the sticker underneath. And we're gonna place the posts into the holes on the guide, making sure the screen protector doesn't touch the top of the phone yet. And then once it's down, just run your finger down the middle of the screen and it should start to adhere to your phone. It does look like we got some bubbles in there, but once it's down, you can peel off the top layer. Then you can take your phone out of the guide by pressing through the middle here. And like I had mentioned, we do have some bubbles that appeared on the side here and on the other side of the screen. So I'm gonna to try to maybe squeegee those out with a credit card. So I'm gonna to try to squeegee those out with the little plastic squeegee that I have, but you can use a credit card or something like that. And it doesn't look like they're going to come out that way. So I'm actually going to very carefully lift the screen protector and then put it back down to try to get some of these bubbles out. If you're going to do this, I recommend you be very careful because you don't want to crack the screen protector when you're lifting it. All right, so I did manage to get those bubbles out fairly easily. It does seem like there are some slight bubbles on the bottom of the screen here that you can see right there, but it does mention in the instructions that the bubbles should disappear within 24 to 48 hours. Hopefully, I mean, it's really not that bad. They're just ever so slight down at the very bottom of the screen protector. And I also did manage to get a piece of dust underneath the screen, so that's not a bubble. Other than that, the screen looks pretty nice. It is a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover your camera and sensors, so we'll test that out. As far as touch, super smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone itself. The edges are also rounded off. It also does seem like there's a slight gap around the screen for case compatibility, which we will be testing out as well. As far as fingerprints goes, there are some slight smudges on the screen, as you can see there, not really that bad, and you can very easily just wipe those away. No problems. So let's test out our Face ID. 
I had to input my code really quick, so now let's test out our face ID. Face ID working fine. As you can see, the screen is crystal clear. No issues with touch. Working perfectly fine. And now let's see what the screen looks like as if we were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. So as you can see, there is some rainbow effect, depending on how you're looking at the phone. If you're looking at it dead on, there is a slight rainbow effect. But if you look at your phone from the side or start turning it, the rainbow does get a little bit more prominent. But definitely not nearly as bad as some of the other rainbows I've seen on these screen protectors. Now let's test out the light bleed from the corners of the case. So we can see that there is a slight bit of that light bleed just out of little corners there. But that seems to be the case with most of these screen protectors. I don't know how much anybody really cares about that. You can't really see it from the front of the phone. You only really see it in the dark if you're really looking for it. So now let's put it in our case. So this is the Bodyguards Paradigm case. And it seems like the screen protector fits perfectly inside this case as well. Comes right up to the edge of the case. I don't see any lifting. There's still a slight gap at the top. On the sides, there's probably like just a very slight gap as well. And on the bottom here, it seems to come right up to the edge of the case. And then we can also see that anti-reflective technology. So this is what it looks like on the screen with the lights in my studio. And I'll compare this to the regular glass that's on the phone itself as well. So everything's looking pretty good so far. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. And then here's a comparison between the actual iPhone screen and the bodyguards. So you can see where the bodyguards anti-reflective coating actually works. It's toning down the brightness of the light so you can see the individual LEDs a lot more than you can from the actual iPhone screen. So we're going to start off the test by dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of 2 feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at 2 feet. Two feet. So the bodyguard screen protector lasted up until a two foot drop. Now let's move on to the scratch test. Now tempered glass starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number six. So we're going to start off our test with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally a number seven. Now if we take a closer look, you can see that there are no scratches at the number 5. There are sl very slight at a number 6 and about the same for a number 7. Now the interesting thing about this screen protector is they're not as deep as some of the other tempered glass screen protectors I've seen. It's super light. If you're looking at the screen dead on, you can't even see those scratches. The only time you see it is if you kind of tilt the screen in the light. So the scratch resistance seems to be better than regular tempered glass. And it actually kind of wipes away a little bit. Yeah, so scratch resistance is definitely better than regular tempered glass. Now installation for the screen protector wasn't really hard, but there was a significant amount of bubbles. But again, I was able to get those out fairly easily. It also does seem to be case friendly. It lasted up until a two foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be better than regular tempered glass. So the Paradigm case is a pretty cool concept. Again, I've never seen another case actually do what Bodyguards is attempting to do with this case. And the cooling pad did actually feel cool to the touch versus the rest of the case. And like I mentioned before, any advantage that I can get to keep my phone's battery cool, I'm definitely going to take it. Now, if you guys do want to pick any of these accessories up yourself, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.